Johnny, you got to go back out. Two players are wide open for Rhode Island to kick it out for a three-pointer. Near corner comes for that aforementioned three-pointer, and that is canned for the Rams, Maya Moffitt. And here come the Colonials with the takeaway. Pass it high left, catch, shoot, three, nets in, good, Robert Morris. Their first field goal of the game cuts the deficit to three. And that's deep from Posset. That's a couple feet behind the three-point line. A big basket for the Colonials to get themselves back into it. K. Matsu trapped on the high right. She'll work at far corner, pushing it near corner. Catch, shoot, three. Castillo bangs the tray, and the Colonials cut the deficit down to two with that three-pointer. Posset up high. Near corner now. E.K. Matsu off of a screen, open for three. That'll rattle in good, and Robert Morris has the lead, 10-9. to nine. The Colonials have outscored Rhode Island 10-2 to two since trailing 7-0. And they're doing it all with threes, too. We saw Castillo. Augustin lobs it in. Callahan high left, trying to step past the defender. Pull up is good from 13, and the Colonials stretch their lead to five. Nice open look from Callahan. She had... Matrachuk on her, decided to take it to the right a little bit, give herself some space, and take the nice shot at the foul line. Up top it goes, now settling for jump shots. At this point, up by five. Up top it's Ross for three. That'll net in good, and the Colonials watch a five-point lead turn into a two-point advantage. Wide open for the potential three-point shot, and we're not able to get it to her. Through traffic goes Colome, and the Colonials watch their lead disappear. It's 17 to 17 is your score. Turn around by Pluvios. That'll net in good, breaking the tie. It's 19-17. Piece of, and URI out with it. In transition, and the layup up and in for Davida Dale, and Rhode Island needs Robert Morris by three. Augustin, near sideline, Callahan behind Pluvios. And the screen gives the Colonials the opportunity to splash the tray, and Robert Morris down by just two. A good look from Callahan. It was Castillo to pass it, pass it through traffic. Big swat there by Machachuk. But the good news is the possession stays with Robert Morris. Machachuk sending that all the way down to Adams Hall. There, a big block from her. And timeout. Ek Matsu between the rings, high right side. Castillo penetrates. Left elbow. Azebo cans the jumper. Mega. And a foul after the ball finds its way into the cylinder. That'll go against Colome. High right side, Castillo. Inside, Azebo backing down the defender. Sliding past that defender, finds its way into the basket. And Nicole Jorgensen is gonna hit, send her to the free throw line with Jorgensen's third. Great pivot by Azebo. Up top it'll go. Colome's three point shot spins in good. The Colonial advantage. Adams, Ozzy Mamadou. It's headed into the cylinder, and she's headed to the free throw line. What a great move down along the baseline by Ire Ozzy Mamadou. Like you said, Ozzy Mamadou getting the baseline, and she'll take that every day, using her body, getting in front of Rhode Island player, and able to lay it in. Posset nearly forcing the turnover. Runner by Colome off the glass and in, and we're tied at 37 all. Rebound, Rhode Island. They bring it back the other way. Left-hand runner up and in for Colome and the Colonials watch Rhode Island reclaim the lead. It came off to three ball, good. So the Colonials need to start the foul parade again as a big three-pointer there for Hanukkah E.K. Matsu. And they got to do it immediately off the, or off the uh, inbound. And they don't. There's nobody covering Streeter. The runner, last ball, no good. And Rhode Island outscores Robert Morris over the final nine minutes and 25 seconds, 19-6, to six, to win this basketball game 46-41. to 41.